Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to a new episode of Tester Tech, where I'm gonna talk about Uobar and how to configure it. And I already have uh, Uobar set up, but I want to show you how to configure it from scratch. So let's uh, dive straight into it. Before I dive into U, uh, just a quick note on Hyperland. So I had a contact with a viewer of mine and the question was, is dual monitor supported? Yeah, for sure. Uh, and I also have, yeah, this is three monitors. I have my recording set up. So uh, EDP is my laptop display. HDMI A1, this is a mirror of DP1. And DP1 is actually my 4K display set at full HD. And it just mirrors that. So I have three monitors uh, at this moment. So uh, I think dual monitor should work well. One other thing that I noticed when I was playing around a little bit with monitor configuration, I just, um, yeah, you do hyper CTL, of course, show your monitors here. But this uh, executable, W displays, also a very handy tool to. Uh, to look at your screens and to know and determine what kind of screens you have and all the properties of the screens and enable disable etc and using that information you can feed that so this one and this one you can feed that into your config file but you need to this is the config file of course it's the hyperlet.conf so if you look at my repository, I have one example and you can use the starting point, of course, but uh, as always, make it your own. And yeah, this is desktop and it's already an U bar running. And here you have some stuff here, U bar already running. So the workspace, the daemon and the config here bar hyperland open bar and uh, yeah so let's first try to stop the u bar kill all u then it will disappear and you can double check indeed it's uh, it's gone for the most part this is just some program for the workspaces not that important so uh, let's go to the config config u I have two of them in there, uh, the Ubar from scratch and the Ubar Hyperland. And the Ubar from scratch is a basic one. So let's go into there. Scratch. And basically I have, you're obligated to have these two files, u.yak and uscss. But the uscss is empty. As you can see, and the Cut uh, u yak is filled, but there's not a whole lot in there because it's definitely a bar from scratch. So uh, let's fire up VS Code so I can more easily do it. Some other things that I'm working on. So let's open up the folder I just showed you. So here. Config U. So now it opens the folder. So basically, you start with uh, a window, defining a window. In this case is called a power menu. And why it's called a power menu is because it yeah, follows a tutorial. Open that tutorial. Start a new session. So if you go to the Wacky Widgets site, and here you have the instructions, etc. And it's also a second one. So the first one is good to get started. To install and then you just follow this and should be quite easy let me know in the comments if you want a installation video 
it should be okay to uh, just get it installed. And the other one is an example, DARMX, a nice beginner friendly introduction. And there it's the power menu. And that's the reason why it's power menu here, because this is following the tutorial. So uh, what it says is that you create a folder uh, in the config directory as well, with the SCSS and the yuck file in there, etc, etc. And this is the, the, the power menu. So uh, for Hyperland, this is needed. Monitor zero. Stacking foreground, window type dock. I put it in dock, this is normal, but the dock has yeah, a little bit different properties. And the properties that you want for a bar. So for the rest, uh, WM ignore is also here displayed what it is. Ignore the window so that, that it doesn't behave like a regular window and that what you also want uh, for a dock. So geometry, 100 by 50%, so it's quite big, of course, on the screen. Orientation, so there's another box in here with the vertical orientation class is named BX. And a button and a label in there. And if you click the button, it will shoot out a notification uh, i think you won't see it on my recording but it's just uh yeah dunst you can test it dunst for that you need dunst of course hello yeah oh yeah you do see it on my display that's good that's good nice so yeah uh and then a label and just remember uh, that the syntax, syntax uh, formatting is important. So you, if you start something, uh, then you will need to end it, of course. And here the same, the box. So inside the box, you then have uh, these two elements. So all the elements are in parentheses. Just know that whatever you start one, you should also close it. Just like, yeah, of course, structured text format. Yeah, and you can just uh, start this. So uh, to do that, U, and U then needs to be on your path. Which U? Oh, for me, it's uh, home lo local bin U. So I compiled it on Fedora, and then I copied that executable to local bin because that's on my path. So I can just run U, current directory, and open a power menu. mistake need to do dash c for config open power menu so it will connect Let's see i was expecting to see something Let's check the logs uh fill the open window power menu oh yeah there's a typo in here power menu so what i just uh, now it opens. It was cute. Uh, so let's close it. And what I just did, of course, was also show you kind of the, like the debugging, right? So new, yep. because I had a typo in here, and when you launched it, you didn't see anything, but then you opened the logs, and then it showed indeed the error. So that's very useful, I think. So if you open the power menu here, you do see the two buttons. So this is a label and this is a button. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, oops. I just closed a little bit too much. That's okay. So kill. Yeah, and from there you could follow along, of course. Uh, follow this. It's all nice, but I think it's best to... Yeah, look at some example and yeah for that i have the other example already there so i want to go over that uh, so uh, go to cd so of course i have a repository with this first step already in there 
And I'm also working on a blog post uh, yeah, to accompany this video as well, where, where you have the code. Uh, a little bit with a little bit story uh, behind it. You, um, like I said, I have two of these hyperlands. So I have the U bar for hyperlands. Let's uh, open up code again. There you go. So I have this. KO and then Uber for Hyperland. A little bit more extensive, but in general, it's mostly the same script as I showed you before, right? But uh, yeah, so again, so the dev window bar, so this is bar and it will expand uh, false, horizontal V expand false. Geometry, uh, also the case 99%. As additional properties, uh, like it's anchored to top center, makes sense for a bar. And reserve some distance, 4% uh, of the top. Taking foreground, exclusive, true. And that is also important uh, because all, or else it will overlap. And now exclusive is true. It's a hyper, an U option, meaning it has a small gap, will have a small gap there. So that makes a lot of sense, I think. And the type is doc and yeah, the bar screen zero. So meaning it's the primary screen. All right. And yeah, then you have the widgets here defined. Uh, this is the bar. And then you have these are calls to all the modules that are there. And um, yeah. So polling is also that you just call a script and yeah, all the modules are here, the space workspaces, but let me just, I see my cat batteries by uh, almost dying. So let's uh, quickly do u config and uh, u bar hyperland and open bar. So you can see the end result with, uh, I also started with that in this video. So, I think it's not that difficult. Just look at the code and copy paste and see if it works and uh, feel free to reach out. Create a GitHub issue, for example. And uh, yeah, I would say happy uh, tweaking and have fun with you. Bye bye.